What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spiritual J, coming back at you again with another video, man. I pray everybody's doing well. Y'all staying safe. Um, Got another video coming. This one, it's pretty much, Um, I mean, if you see the title, you know what it's going to be about. But y'all probably know who this is. Some of y'all probably don't know who Finesse Two Times is and Lil' King. Um... But it's a lot of things, it's a lot of viral videos going on online right now with this, with Finesse Two Times and this, this little boy that he basically went in, um, um, adopted or something like that. I don't know how he ran into that little boy, but what, from what I heard from the background, of course, Lil' King come from a broken home. He come from, you know, poverty like finesse two times they all they they come from poverty and stuff i don't know how he got a hold of the little boy i don't know if somebody in his family know them or he's related to him in some way but i know that's not his son i don't know how he got a hold of him but from what i have been seeing online and let me just say this too before i uh keep going in the video if you see this as a judgmental video or you know oh why are you judging and stuff go on to another video i get people are sensitive when this when i'm especially when you're talking about black people um i understand that you're very sensitive you're getting your feelings because somebody said something but it has to be said it has to be said but like black people if that's what y'all call yourselves, I don't call myself black. But we are, are Israelites. Black came from the name that white people gave us. Yeah. And if you think about it, only black people find this stuff entertaining. They only find this stuff entertaining. A little boy standing on stage cussing, no shirt on jewelry on and stuff i ain't hating like some of y'all would say some of y'all did say on facebook this morning because i commented on a video that i seen for that two times and little king and and i just spoke i just spoke true i said it's sad that only black people find this stuff entertaining finesse two times is leading this little boy astray he's he's helping this boy go to hell young Finesse two times is going to help this little boy go to hell young or go to the lake of fire. Let's put it like that because we all going to hell. Got to go to hell. Hell is only the, it's not a term for the grave. Sheol. We're all going to be in the grave when we die. That's a holding place until judgment. Hell. Sheol. But there's, there's paradise and there's that, that torment side. Go read the book of Luke. So... If you think about it, let's just break this down. The devil. The devil wants the children. Okay? Yes. Yes. The devil is out. He is he is out to get the children. Anybody that he can give him a, a um a, um invitation, but he mainly wants the children because if you can get it in the children at a young age, then when they get older, they're going to be so used to it, they're only going to get worse. So that's why Satan goes after the children, okay? And when you think about it, just like the Most High has to use people to do his work, Satan needs to use us to do his work. He needs our flesh also. And finesse two times... Is being used as a puppet. Finesse two times is being used as Satan's little slave. Okay? So, it's sad that I see so many people comment on Facebook this morning. A lot of people agree with me. And then there's, there's other people. You know, it's always going to be those ones. It's always going to be those ones who got some, who got the most to say. Uh, they gotta cuss, try to call themselves cussing you out or call themselves trying to insult you and stuff because they're mad about what you said. Some of them was mad because I said they was calling me a hater. They said that um, 
you he probably got more money than you let, let me tell you something i don't care about how much money any celebrity have i don't care if you are a billionaire trillionaire millionaire i don't care what you are gazillionaire your money ain't gonna mean nothing on judgment day your money ain't gonna mean a freaking thing what does it profit a man to gain the world and then lose their soul you on stage, you rapping, you cussing, you you leading children astray. Because that's what these rappers are doing anyway. They're leaving children. Astray. They are leading them astray. They are they are helping these, these kids become more lost. And many people sit back and, and look at this stuff and think that it's just cool. Think that it's, you know... Uh, I mean, shoot! Look how much look 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 how much money I have. You know, I got it going on. You know, I got the cars, I got the houses, I got I got the women, the the lady rappers got the dudes hitting them up and stuff. They got all this stuff, but it's only gonna lead you to hell, to a lake of fire, if you don't repent. But for next two times, it's being used by the devil. He's being used to help this little boy lose his soul. And it's a shame that you got people sitting back and clapping to this. Clapping to it. Loving it. A little boy who's going to grow up so out of order. He's going to grow up out of order. All, while, all because of finesse two times. What kind of what kind of name is finesse two times anyway? Um, all because he is leading that he's gonna lead that little boy astray. He's planting in the, you got videos of the of the kid online shooting dice, and you got people commenting on the video and loving it. Mostly black people. I mean, do I and no disrespect, but do I expect anything better? No. I don't expect anything better. Not all black people is this way, but majority of us, yes, we are. Majority of us, it's more the population that's that's like that. So when you, it, the boy is on there shooting dice. I believe he's only what ten years old. He's only like ten years old. He's on there shooting dice. What does the Bible say? I. I I can quote that scripture from hard, but it says, um, it's better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and jump into the into the sea than to lead one of the one of the um most high children down the wrong way, make them cause them to stumble, cause one of these little ones to stumble who believe in me. It's better for you to tie a millstone. I believe that's what it is. For next two times, it's causing little king to stumble and you got people sitting back clapping to this entertained by it loving it why why they why are you loving it because they say oh man it's another i don't care how old he is shoot he black he making it he this they in little they, they have another said they in little bow wow little romeo doing that first of all little bow wow first of all little king ain't, ain't nowhere near no little bow wow and the difference between that is, is Lil Baba was not talking about the stuff that this little boy is talking about. The words that this the words that this little boy is saying. Jermaine, Jermaine Dupri did not allow Bow Wow to uh to uh do all that. Snoop Dogg was in around him. Snoop Dogg didn't allow Bow Wow to do all that. But you got for next two times, he allowing this this little boy to be around weed smoking. Be around drugs, be around shooting dice, drug dealing, all this other stuff. Be around strippers. I believe I seen him in the strip club. He was in. He was in. The, I, I think it was a strip club, or was it just a regular club? It was one of them. He was in there with that that little dirty, sexy raid and uh uh Glorilla. Glorilla. Uh oh, it's like no, it's, <laughs> but um, yo. This is sad what's going on because this little this little boy right here, we are witnessing a child being destroyed. I don't care how much y'all comment and say he's making more money than you, he's more successful, he's more popular, he's he this, he that. 
you know, he got, he's famous and he came from, this is what they always want to say, man, he came from poverty, man. He came from nothing. Okay, you could come from nothing, but that, that don't give you no right to be out here for finesse two times to be allowing this little boy to act like that. When you come from, that's, that's normally kids who act like him come from nothing. But with finesse two times, with him having all this money and stuff, him being successful, a role model, he should set a positive example. Show that little boy how to stay from out of clubs. Don't do the stuff that I'm doing. Don't don't shoot dice. Don't drug deal or don't rap about this demonic stuff. Don't do all that. Finesse two times not doing that. What is he doing? He he's showing he he's showing Lil King, and hey man, do all that. Be like that. Act like a grown man when you're only 10 years old. And you wonder why kids is getting killed. That little boy going, oh man. I'm not speaking this over his life. God know, most high knows I'm not speaking this over, over his life. But that boy would mess around and get too, too big headed. Too full of himself. And somebody going to end up shooting him. All because he... If, do you see the way? Do you see the way that he's acting right now? Look at the way that the little boy is acting right now. He can't control himself. They they are allowing him to act a freaking fool. Now picture how he gonna act once he get a little older. Picture how he gonna act. So more out of order. And you got people sitting back clapping to this this is so cool to you this is so cute this is so adorable this is this this is that oh man shut up with all that that mess this is this is sad and pathetic that's what it is it's sad and it's pathetic that's exactly what it is sad that we gotta witness Many people clapping their hands to this, agreeing to it, agreeing to a little boy being led astray. I don't, I don't understand this world, man. Like this world is so, it's so backwards. That goes to show you how many people. I'm. That's the sad. That's the sad part about it. Many, many of these people are becoming parents. They're becoming parents. They, they are cool with. Seeing a little boy act a act a plunk fool out in public, I wonder how they gonna allow that their children to act. They probably gonna, gonna allow their kids to smoke weed in freaking freaking elementary school. Cause let me tell you something: if little king ain't smoking weed right now, you best believe next year or the year before or the year after that, he probably be uh smoking some weed. He gonna get a hold of it. That's gonna be the next thing. Probably get a girl pregnant at a young age. Come on, man. This is the path. I'm once again. I'm not speaking this over his life, but once again, this is from. This is what I'm witnessing. This is what I'm getting from when I see this 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 little boy being led astray. All these grown, immature adults around him, and they all sitting back clapping their hands to it. Clapping their hands to it, loving it. Why I say loving it because they, the, if they was to go against it, finesse two times would not allow them to be around him no more. They want they want to be around finesse two times and Lil King because they they feel important. Ain't that how it always is though? The Bible speaks about that. A, a rich man has many friends. The Bible also says says that when when the rich man speaks, everybody gets quiet. Something like that. I believe that's how the scripture went. But it says when a poor man, a poor man has has no one. A poor a poor person don't have any friends and stuff. But a rich person, oh oh man, let me tell you something about about a rich one man. They they got all the friends in the world. They the most popular ones. Everybody want to be around them. Everybody want to talk to them. Everybody want to be their friend. Hey man, I, don't I know you? Don't I this? Don't I that? Nah, you don't know me. Nah, nah, I don't know you. No. 
Nah, we can't be friends. Hey, what's up? I'll say what's up to y'all. Go on about my business. That's why they're not going to go against it. That's like uh, somebody that, like, somebody, uh, life going down the wrong path, and they got friends and family around them, but can't nobody tell them, uh, can't nobody try to lead them back on the right track or, you know, tell them what they're doing wrong because why? They're doing the same exact thing that they're doing. Think about that. I pray for, for the kid, man. I pray for him because it, he he has no positive examples. No, finesse two times is not a positive example for him. He's not. You you got to do what. It's at a point right now where you got to do wicked to to get richer in this life. You got to be wicked to get richer. Yeah, the most wicked people in this life right now are millionaires. Think about that. Why do you see majority of, of people that are that are rich? They are wicked as crap. They are in darkness. Why do you think that? Because, first of all, a lot of them are using their gifts for the wrong thing. They're using their gifts to serve Satan. And when you use your gifts to serve Satan, you go on, what does it profit a man to gain his world and then lose their soul? Y'all, all we can do is pray for him. All we can do is pray for him. That's all we can do. And if you have kids, don't allow your, your kid to see this, this, this little boy. Be careful with what your, what your child is watching. Be careful with, with that. Be careful with when, when they get these iPads and these iPhones when they in, in um elementary school or middle school and then they they go to their room and uh, shut their door how the hell do you know what they're they're looking at in there cuz i know i remember when i when i was younger 7 8 years old shoot i got my mom um um ipod when the ipods had just came out ipod touches i i got her ipod and i went i went in my room and shut the door and was looking at all types of porn <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at, at all types of porn. I ain't gonna lie to you, <laughs> y'all. But for real, for real, all just aside, y'all, we got to pray for this this little boy. That's why it's important that daddy should be in their child's life because now finesse two times got a hold of this kid. Now he about to introduce him to wickedness. Now Satan is. Building up and building up another one. But don't let the most high have to knock it back down. Because the most high can do that. Satan don't answer to the most high. I mean, say, Satan... Well, let me rephrase that. I said that wrong. The most high don't answer to Satan. Satan has to answer to the most high. Satan has to listen to the most high. Has to obey the most high. The Most High don't have to obey Satan. Go read the book of Job. If you don't believe me, read the book of Job. The Most High allowed Satan, gave Satan permission. He gave Satan permission. But he could have said, no, nah, you, you better not even touch him. You better stay away from him. Then Satan would have stayed away from him. But no, the Most High gave him permission. Satan obeys the Most High. Think about that. Pray for him, y'all. We gotta pray. We gotta pray for him. Because he's being he's being led astray right now. He's being taught some things, man. God knows what, what this, this little boy is seeing behind closed doors. That's messing him up. I understand he came from, from poverty. I understand that. And it is the goal to get some money in this life. To become successful. That's the goal. I understand that. But... You don't you do not have to show this this little boy this stuff that, that he's seen. Show him something different. Put him in a private school. Show him a show him a righteous life. Let him be a kid. Don't let him be on stage rapping and stuff. Let him be a kid. Take him to the arcade. Take him to the Disney World or the 
or amusement parks or let him go play with the other little boys? Why is he around grown men? Around grown men learning some stupid stuff. Oh, he jumped off the porch at a young age. Okay, then then he then him and, and the ones who taught him now gonna be gonna be jumping in, in the uh, grave next. Jumping off the porch into the grave. I'm not speaking this over his life, but a hey, love you. Got to spit facts. So that's all I have to say, y'all, in this video. Um, I don't want to make this too much longer. It's getting a little dark right here. I'm about to go in there and work out. But I pray somebody wake up and stop clapping to this stuff because it's not cute. It's not funny. The kid needs needs to be with somebody else. Take him to a foster home or something. But finesse two times cannot have this 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 little kid, bro. He is destroying him. We got to pray for him. And black people, you need to grow the hell up. Grow the hell up. You sit back and clap into this. It's only my race of people who find this stuff cute. Finds this stuff entertaining. And we and it's, it's making us look sad and pathetic even more. As we already have shown to these other races. Or as the Bible says, these other nations. They see us as, as a joke. They see us as the laughing stock. They don't take us serious. They don't even want us nowhere around them. They don't want us nowhere. Because of foolish stuff that they see online dealing with this. Let's do better. Let's be different. Be the change that you want to see. Be a positive, righteous change.